Hey guys, my name is Lily and today I want to give you a short update on my EDC rucksack. Stay tuned. My urban survival kit looks quite a little bit different than my wilderness survival kit, I have to admit. And that's because actually in the city or in the suburbs you don't need so much stuff. You have to prepare for different situations in the city than for example uh, situations in the wilderness. So it's a huge difference and I believe it's pretty important to have at least the minimum amount of urban survival tools with you. Before I want to show you the contents of this bag though, I first want to talk about the backpack itself. As you can see it's pretty small and lightweight and it's also a non-tactical backpack. And I've recently switched to this backpack because the other one that I had was first of all tactical. If you have a tactical backpack with molly webbing, uh, people might figure out that you have some important well labels with you and that might make you our target. But with this ordinary looking rucksack here, you're just a better gray man, I would say. So this is why I have chosen this smaller rucksack here. It's much more lightweight, so if I had to run away, I could run very fast, even if I have this rucksack on. The next topic that we have to talk about is self-defense. I myself have decided that I want to carry a tactical pen, like this one here. I think tactical pens are great if you know how to use them. So I'm also taking some self-defense classes alongside with this tactical pen, so that I know how to use this pen and how I can uh, use it for my self-defense. A lot of people have chosen a knife in their kit. Uh, it's also okay if you do that, but be aware that if you get in a serious knife fight, that maybe the judges will put you in jail too. With this here, the chances are much lower because first of all, fatalities are much less with a tactical pen. And also this is considered a real self-defense tool. So this is my first choice of self-defense. Okay, now let's take a closer look at my pack and what I have inside. So this here is my backpack and as we have already discussed I have my tactical pen here at the side and also I do have some tissues in here and hygiene soap. Yeah it's always important that you keep your hands clean especially if you use public transport a lot. Then here at the back I have a secret compartment. In here I have my wallet and also my phone and this is great because uh, yeah thieves won't be able to get behind your bag like this so this is pretty much thief secure then here at the front I have another compartment at the side and in here I have my gloves these are tactical gloves they're really awesome because they will give you good protection for whatever you want to use them for. So if you still have time before a fist fight and you can put on your gloves, it's always an advantage to protect your fingers. And also these gloves will protect you from shattered glass or uh, a sharp fence, something like that. So it's always important that you have a good pair of gloves on you. Next on this side, I have a couple of items here. In here I have my tactical pouch. I have a power bank. And also in here I have my Letterman Wave. This is one of the best multi-tools that you can get. The Letterman Wave. I can really recommend this one here. It has some really strong pliers and also it has a small knife blade. But as you can see, my Letterman Wave rusts a little bit here and that's because unfortunately I have bought the black version. So if I had to make the choice again, I would definitely go for the stainless steel version. So rust is really a problem with the black version here. Yeah, the power bank is always important. It's important that you can recharge your phone. Okay, now let's check out what's in my tactical pouch here. So let's open this up quickly. I just take out all of the items that I have in here. So this is it. This is what I have. First of all, I have a 
all weatherproof notebook. Very important that you have some kind of paper where you can write down some notes and also I have a permanent marker and a normal pen here to take notes. This is very important. Next in here I have, this is just for my glasses so that I can clean my glasses when I have to. Then I have some super glue, always good to have. And next in here I have electrical tape and you can use this for a lot of other things to do some repairs. So this is always good to have in your EDC kit. Next in here I have some dental floss. Yeah, I mostly use it for my teeth but also in an emergency situation you can use it for a lot of other tasks. Like for example you can make some fishing line with it. So this is a great and sturdy cordage to have in your kit. Then in here I have a lockpick set. Yeah, in my country it's legal to carry these, but in other countries you might not be allowed. So be sure that you inquire about your local laws. Then in here I have a small compass so that I can get a general direction. So this small compass here is really lightweight. It doesn't take a lot of space in your rucksack and it's really not a mistake to take a small compass with you. The next for fire making I have this small lighter here. So with this lighter here it's pretty easy to light up a fire if you have to. It's pretty strong and also it's windproof. So this is my first choice of lighter in my EDC bag. I have a USB cable so I can charge up my small flashlight here. Okay, this here is the S1 Baton Mini. And I really love this small flashlight because it's actually pretty bright. So the maximum mode has an output of 600 lumens and that's more than enough for EDC. And also what I like about it is that it's really not too big. So you can easily put it inside of your pocket. And here you can see the battery that this flashlight runs with. It has a USB slot and you just put in your USB cable like this. And then you can recharge this battery with your power bank. And this is pretty awesome because with this you don't need any charging stations anymore so you can just recharge it with your power bank with this usb cable now the cool thing is that the company olight has granted my subscribers a flash sale again and you can get this flashlight here for 45 percent off so that's a really good deal and this is really good quality and i can only recommend that you get one of these small flashlights here so this flashlight goes back into my tactical pouch. It's always great to have a small pouch where you can put in the small stuff. So this is what I have at this side here. Pretty awesome. So now let's take a look inside of my rucksack here. I have two compartments. The main one is just for EDC. So in here I carry my groceries when I go shopping. And then I have another compartment at the back here. In the rear compartment I have a first aid kit ready to grab. In here I just have a normal uh, first aid kit equipment with all the things that you need. I also have tampons in here and a sewing kit. So a needle is always great to have, especially when you have a splinter in your skin. So this is really just a normal first aid kit but don't make the mistake to leave this here at home because uh, the chances are pretty high that you will need a first aid kit so a first aid kit is a must-have in an urban survival kit the next thing that I have in here is just an ordinary rain poncho it's always good to be able to protect your stuff from getting wet next in here I have a big and sturdy garbage bag. A garbage bag is so versatile 
so you can uh, improvise so many things with it a shelter maybe something to sit on or maybe you need to make your bag waterproof then you would stuff in your bag into the trash bag here and seal it off by making a knot and then you would have a totally sealed bag and yeah uh, trash bags are great they are really lightweight they can make an emergency shelter and so many other things so i always carry one with me last but not least i have a map in here which is the map of my town but also the map of the next bigger city that i might have to go to and as you can see i also have wrapped my maps in duct tape duct tape is great because you can use it to repair many things you can use it to repair your rucksack if it has a hole in it or maybe your windscreen has a crack and you're in the middle of nowhere so then you can use this duct tape to repair your windows and yeah maps are important uh, you always need a means of navigation uh, maybe you have lost a person and your mobile phone is not working anymore then you can use the map and navigate with a map okay folks so i just got out my gloves because it's getting really cold now okay so this here is my edc pack and i really love it i think i have done a good job to cut down weight this pack here is much more lightweight than my old one and yeah the other one was really bulky and heavy and it has gotten in my way so often so now i'm really happy that i have the small pack here and yeah this is just you know a list of items that you can have in your pack bag for the city which kind of represents the minimum amount of gear so these are essentials and if you want to take more if you want to add more items to your pack please do so but you always have to consider that the more you add the heavier your pack gets and then it might drag you down when you have to run away all right so i really want to thank you for watching this was the video about my urban survival kit and also i want to thank the company olight because they were so nice to sponsor this video and also they were so nice to give my subscribers a 45 percent discount so if you're interested in getting this discount you can take a look in the description below and you will find some further information there okay now it's time to go home i really want to thank you for watching and stay tuned till next time